Um, let me start by saying thank you. Thank you guys for coming out. Thank you to my panelists, my moderator, and all of you. I saw it was raining this weekend. I, I saw the storm. I know y'all wanted to stay in bed tonight, but uh, I appreciate y'all being here, sharing uh, this time and, and space together. And give me all attention, y'all full attention to this panel that we have today that has assembled to give us a little bit of insight on where we're going with art, the technology, um, to talk about their background a little bit and why they're here, how this topic relates to them, and hopefully to answer any questions that you all may have around uh, what art is looking like today, the future of creativity, uh, and even art collecting. Uh, I said a lot of things and I did not introduce myself. <laughs> Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Robert Lee Newman III. I'm a Harlem-based multidisciplinary artist, and I'm your host for today. Woo! Yeah, 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 okay, okay. Little host dance, little host dance. Thank you guys again for, for, for coming out. Uh, as you all already know, this is the future of creativity, a uh, panel discussion around the intersection of art and technology, and uh, some context. Why am I here? Why am I hosting? Why? that I spend my Sunday putting all this together. Um, I'm an artist, I said that piece. Uh, in the city, I spend my time bringing people together, creating these connections and, and community spaces where we're able to have like knowledge sharing opportunities and organically build from one another. I feel like the solutions are always gonna come from within and around, right? Not from somebody else, not from people thinking it up, not from some genius idea that comes in the middle of the night, but from the people that are in the room today and the folks that we're interacting with on a daily basis. Uh, I said I was an artist and I'm very curious myself. People have been asking me about NFTs, uh, where they can get uh, digital artwork from, and how my artwork is accessible to them. And these are selfish questions that I have for myself. So I figured it would be helpful to bring uh, a, a knowledgeable panel together so we can have this conversation um, in total. So without further ado, I'll do a quick intro or quick bio rather for all of our panelists and then I'll let them introduce themselves and we'll jump right in. Also got programs with all of our speaker information. These folks took a good amount of time today to talk to us, a good amount of time beforehand to think about the topic. I suggest y'all follow them. There's some uh, leaders, some thoughtful individuals, and otherwise influential folks in our community. So, honor them, honor the space, and uh, I'm excited to get into it. So first, I'll start with <coughs> Ronald Taylor, a brother like no other. Uh, Ronald Taylor is an experienced professional in K-12 education, program design, and evaluation. In addition to child development and in creating safe spaces. He became an alpha in the fall of 2013. For anybody that's Greek in the room, we call that SANS. He and I cross at the exact same time. I am also a proud member of Alpha by Alpha, fraternity incorporated, uh, as Ronald. <laughs> uh, Ronald crossed the Delta Zeta chapter and in 2015 was named uh, the National College Brother of the Year. So when I say a brother like no other, I'm, I'm hyping it up a little bit, but there's no hype this that's really necessary, right? Uh, Ronald graduated from Syracuse University in 2015 with a BA in political science and policy studies. With a minor in African American studies and a concentration in black male development as a uh, senior class marshal. Right? I, I, I'll leave it there. Ronald uh, is our moderator. For the one thing that we did not include here that's important for the space uh, that I always feel extremely proud to say, Ronald is also uh, a very, very prolific poet. He and I have been creating in different spaces for years and years, whether it's as uh, contemporaries, as producers, or uh, just as brothers in the background um, talking it through. So, Ronald, take it Ronald. Thank you. Moving on, we got Braylon Lombard. <laughs> Braylon is a global policy and product manager for minor safety at TikTok. So when I said art and technology, we 
we're bringing it to, to, to current, right? I'm not talking about Art and Excel. I'm not talking about Microsoft. I mean, like today's technology, okay? Uh, Braylon is, again, a safety manager at TikTok and the founder of Unjaded Curation. With a background in instructional design and development, she began her career as a middle school history teacher, focusing on racial, ethnic tension, and arts. Integrated, constructive learning. Constructive is learning. She's gonna talk a little bit more about that, but constructive is learning. Uh, Braylon's work in policy development and organizational leadership have been informed by her master's in education from Harvard and uh, her bachelor's of art in history from the University of Las Vegas, Nevada. She's also a Brooklyn native. Uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> Wait, we're gonna come back to this because this is actually funny. Uh, I use AI to create this event. <laughs> so, right when I was reading, I'm like, uh, I'm like, uh, yeah. is a, a proud graduate of the illustrious Spelman College. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> So, so that's, we'll, we'll get into it, we'll get into it. Um, moving on, we have uh, Anthony Roberts here. He's the founder of ArtMatch, an art advisory service that caters to busy professionals seeking meaningful artwork. Uh, as the name suggests, he puts people and art together, right? So we'll hear more about that today. Um, prior to his current role, he worked as a management consultant specializing in corporate due diligence at Bain & Company. So for my artists and creatives in here, Bain & Company is like one of the top tier consultant firms in the world. Is that understanding? In the world. Right? Last but certainly most important, Shanti. AKA <laughs> Uh, she gets a special shout out because she has been in the lab with me for the last couple of weeks, working on the event, helping to generate the content, and even making sure that y'all had food and drink for today. So let's give her a special round of applause. Shanti is a multidisciplinary artist specializing in duality, using ultraviolet paints and glow in the dark art. The work of Catalyst, Shanti, aka Catalyst. He evokes the dreamer and the activist within all of us. Her art style is a fusion between Afrofuturism and Neo-Expressionism. The art is inspired by street art, tribalism, <coughs> nature, spirituality, and the human psyche all mixed up together. Shanti is also one of the featured artists in this wonderful exhibit that y'all find y'all self in. So make sure y'all ask her some questions about her art in general, but especially the art that's in the space today. Without further ado, I'm gonna get out the way and I'm gonna let Bono uh, take it over from now. Thank you again for uh, coming out. All right, hey everybody. Hey. Uh, I am a middle school teacher by training, so I'm gonna be talking back and forth. If it gets too quiet, I get nervous, so thank <laughs> y'all for being here. Um, I'm gonna do very little talking because the panel is that. Um, and we are fortunate to have really great folks. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll spend about 30 minutes. We have some prepared questions. I'll direct them towards our panelists, but it's a conversation. So panelists, please don't feel like you have to stick to your own question. If you want to chime in, chime in. Um, but I want to just quickly set the context uh, before we jump into this conversation. Um, so I just got back from San Diego on Saturday uh, from a conference called ASU GSB. And it's 10,000 people across tech, civil society, education, you name it, philanthropy. And the average dollar amount in the room is $1.2 trillion at any point you can give in time. And the majority of the conversations at this convention were about the intersection of AI, art, and education, and what role does AI now serve in this conversation, right? And so what was interesting is that the room did not look as diverse as this one, right? And you had people from all the big companies you can imagine thinking about investments on what do we do with this AI development. Chat GPT has a lot of folks confused and concerned. Um, it was funny that Rob used on the AI to generate some of these bios because apparently you went to UNLV. I did not. Wow. <laughs> 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 
but the reason why I set that context, because this, this conversation is so timely, and I think that this panel here is going to be excellent in jumping into it. Uh, so the teacher in me is going to set the goal, and our goal is to analyze what this intersection between art and technology is, and then my challenge to the audience is to think about what is your agency in that intersection, right? So yes, there, there's a lot of overlaps, but then what roles do we play within that? Does that sound all right to y'all? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Middle school teacher, you have to talk back. Okay. <laughs> Does that sound all right to y'all? Yeah. yeah. All right, there we go. So I want to kick off um, our panel. This is for everyone to answer. Why did you see fit coming here today to participate in this conversation? Why come here on today, on this good Sunday, April the 23rd, to participate in this conversation? And I guess we get started at the end with our artists and work our way over, if that's okay. All right. And feel free to introduce yourself as well as you answer. Hi everyone, I'm Shanti. Mm -hmm. I also go by Catalyst, this starts for Pretty Taylor, which is Fair Talk. Um, I saw so fit to come out today because I use creativity and technology in my artwork. It made, uh, it made sense for me to, being as an artist of duality, come on board and see what I could offer as well as receive from the audience. So I wanted to come in to explore that with you all. Hey, I'm Braylon. 